buen rato me sale esta opción recién. Dale, antes no me sale. The tree spirit embraces its putrid host, an elven ancestor lost to the same demonic disease that infests all of Blood Moon Island. Qui manducad omnio mirdos acts, it quats but. The tree spirit embraces. Qui manducad omnio mirdos acts, it quats but est edse. It spreadit to tiraca que chilum sin. Era tu besecron. It spreadit nin ect mehi. Elgo pertidi ex ombre en mehre. A moment passes, then you feel it. Clarity. Friend, kin, if you speak my name, you know my torture. Please, don't judge me too harshly for the sickness my roots have spread. I can be free, my soul cleansed. Naivety. Stupidity. Call it what you want. I wished to put the source within me to good use, and demonology seemed as good a use as any. Silly me. I meant to summon an imp or two. Instead, I ended up hosting a damned archdemon. The roaring in my head. The craving for living flesh. Urges. Good gods, the urges to kill, to hurt. The stronger they became, the harder I fought. And at some point, I was just gone. Deadened, but not dead. And then, away, on an isle I'd never been. Encircled by faces I'd never seen. Watched by a man I'd never known. They called him Doctor. He shouted strange words, and the demon bellowed. Then, one by one, I... They fell. I watched my own hands slaughter them. I tried to resist, but I couldn't. And then a final roar, when the demon rushed away and into the only one still standing. The Doctor. That was my last living memory. The demon may be gone, but its disease still infects my roots, birthing evil into the surrounding soil. While it lives, I am still its rotting servant. I've suffered. The Isle has suffered, but you can end it. You awakened me from nightmare with a single utterance, my name. How amazing that a name can wield so much power. Remember this lesson when you leave Blood Moon Island. The demon blackens another land now. It possesses the very doctor that liberated it. Speak its name, however, and you expose it. You weaken it. You'll know him when you find him. A doctor that accommodates a demon doesn't see patience. Only destroy it, and you free me to the Hall of Echoes. Destroy it, and my roots taint this isle no longer. Now come closer. I'll say the demon's name only once. The spirit's voice is a harsh whisper.
Ya, bueno, entonces aquí prácticamente ya no hay nada que hacer. O sea, tengo que buscar eso, ir acá y como que. No, no creo que haya algo más. He revisado todo de pelear con todo el mundo. Lo único que no sé es como lo que estoy comentando, que es. Eh, que es esto. Pero fíjense que aquí está Dayan. Eh, nada, no sé. Ah, lo que no sé. Porque yo ya entré a esa cueva ahí. Pero o sea, he tratado de hacer lo más minucioso por todo. En general intento explorar todo. Todo, absolutamente todo. Es lo que suelo hacer siempre. Porque se te, si, si no lo haces, se te puede ir algo. Al no quieres eso. Ahora. Yo no sé si. Ahora sí, gracias. Ahora piss off. tiene, tal vez la tiene. Pero parece que no. Bloody hell. Poor Hammond. Yo no veo nada. La verdad, no veo nada aquí. Ahora habla de. Eh, esta weá habla de. Porque esto es Jan. Esto es el doctor, este es en, en otro acto. Pues Jan, esto ya hablé, intenté hablar con ella, no pude hacer nada. Esto es otro acto también. Y esto nunca lo vamos a poder. Les voy a hacer mi último esfuerzo por tratar de ver acá. Que eh, debería, pero como dije, ya tengo dos quests que están malas. Eh, las esporas, la verdad, no me acuerdo en qué bolsa están. Podrían estar. Eh, acá no están. Tal vez ya tengo el Por ahora, ¿me entienden? Déjenme ver si. La tengo. Le tengo que hacer el ritual también. Fácil. Que eso necesita esto. Eh, la obsidiana, esto y eso es todo. Eh. Eh, pero aquí yo no veo eso. Después. Acá estos son armas. O sea, aquí no debería haber nada con respecto a esta. Eh, tampoco. Aquí tampoco, aquí tampoco. Acá no veo nada de eso. No me está haciendo así. No alcance. Ya puede ser. Que tal vez. Pergamino, poco, acá menos de eh, las porciones, las bombas, de la mitad de la no. las esencias, poco, pero eso me sé sí, realmente. Parece que no las tengo. Ahora, aquí, ya comenté. Yo ya estuve aquí. O sea, no encontré. No encontré. No encontré. Encuentra las esferas que faltan. Está ahí en el fondo. A ver, hagamos, hagamos una cosa. Pero bueno. La estatua de Dios está en el shadow y dark. Como las tierras se dampan. Hush! 
The ancestor speaks. She places a hand on her armor, eyes shut, as if straining to hear. Ah, it fades. It must be whole. Then the ancestor can speak freely. Only one. In the city they call Arx. It is said to be a hollow place. Stone and fire and filth. I go even so. Ya no, dice que está en la ciudad de Ark. Eso quiere decir de que acá no está. está. Esto es lo que quiere decir. Porque este no es Ark. Quiere decir de que acá no está. La espora que me falta ahí. Entonces, nada, voy a tocar hacer el ritual y hablar con este tipo. Porque aquí todo esto está cerrado. Está cerrado ahora. Pero bueno, está cerrado después. Está cerrado ahora. Está cerrado después. Está cerrado. Esto no se va a cerrar nunca. ¿verdad? Esto va a no cerrar después. después. Esto no sé. Tampoco. Para Alexander, prácticamente hablemos con él. How fares the hunt, my friend? He smiles brightly and pulls you in for a short, if warm, embrace. You've done me proud, the Godwoken. Prouder than you could ever realize. I know how twisted the paths can get, how much more alluring the sunny glade than the rock-strewn hollows. But you know it's the darkest roads that lead to light. The nature of my lesson, though, might be somewhat different from what you expect. I can deepen your bond with the Source, but you must realize that this bond comes at a cost. All life, after all, sustains itself by consumption. Like the grass feeds the herd, and the herd feeds the hunter, so you must feed, for instance, on these. He waves a hand to the cage in demonstration. The very same. For the sum of source that flows through their festering flesh is more than enough to expand the sum that is yours. Through demise, a chance of divinity. Are you ready? Then let us begin. Jahan's incantations befog your mind. All of you is thumping blood, pumping, pumping, pumping. Then, all you hear, then all that is, is screaming. From the cage to you, their blood in your ears, screaming. <coughs> Silence. That is all. Their sons have set to serve a greater dawn. The world awaits your true awakening. You are very powerful already. A master of the Source. But I did not let this burst of power go to waste. It lies condensed on parchment for you to read and learn. He hands you a book, hot to the touch, a sparkle with Source. My pleasure. And now that the lesson has ended, there is one more matter I would like to discuss. Offer you a chance to deepen our alliance. You see, the demon that you killed, the Advocate, he had a master. You might say the Advocate compared to his master like the pussycat compares to the tiger. It is the tiger I am truly hunting. 
Now don't you worry. I have no intention of sending you after this arch demon. There are few enough Godwoken as it stands for me to force them into any real danger. The one thing I would like you to do for me, though, is to return through the mist to the Isle of Blood and uncover there his name. Jahan looks at you utterly flabbergasted, but soon an air of serenity descends upon him, that of a chess player overlooking the board. A drama leak. You have to admire his cunning. To think that in his guise of Deva, he and I shared the finest wines in the realm. Stories of the women we have loved. Thank you, Godwoken. You have done me an unparalleled service, and you've quite humbled me at the same time. You must go your path, I mine, so that I may confront the Archdemon in his lair, in the great city of Arx. Please accept this token of gratitude, and fare thee well. en nombre por todo esto falta solamente al doctor de para con él esto se bulló porque hice me adelanté y esto no se te bulló Hay que hacer un ritual, hay que intentar una vez más tratar de hablar con ella porque está ahí. Sergio, ¿eh? Eh, aunque lo, lo noto bien difícil. Voy a guardar, eh, voy a guardar esto. La verdad que. Estoy despejando, la verdad. Es difícil encontrar algo que sea mejor de lo que tengo. Pero no sé si estoy en el acto 2 o en el acto 3. Parece que en el 2 son cuatro actos, o sea, aún nos falta uno. My friend, it fills my soul with peace to be near you. No, no me hace caso, da lo mismo, no hay nada que pueda hacer. Da la pena que esas dos cosas no se puedan terminar. Y esto de acá, realmente como comenté, es parte de la... de viajar a la ciencia. Ella me dijo que viajar a la ciencia. Es 
material abrí. Lo vamos a hacer Ya no hay mucho más que hacer. Y después ya, bueno, una nueva ciudad y... No sé, como dije, no sé. Según yo son cuatro arcos. Pero... Parece que la última ciudad es el último. Ahora aquí. The spirit of an elegant elven woman materializes before you. She seems surprised. You... you can see me. A god woken in my presence. You honor me. Bueno, eh, entonces... Ah, hay que... Esto es bien fácil, la verdad. Y al principio como que me complico un poco la vida, pero... En realidad no es tan complicado. Estas raíces las encuentran en el... Me da lata de que honestamente se me haya publicado dos pues, ya, pero no hay mucho. Yo obsidian en sacrificado. As you suck the smoke deep into your lungs, your vision starts to swim and cloud as the world fades away. As you approach, Ralik greets you with a salute, though his face is marred by a pained grimace. My, my, Ifan. How you positively brim with sauce. No wonder after all the adventures you have had. All the things you've had to do. Oh, it's not but a chill. Bit drafty in your soul, that's all. You a sudden shudder jolts through his body so violently that he drops to his knees, stunned into silence. He whispers that there's really no need for your assistance, but the weight of his arms around you tells a different tale. An ancient curse escapes from his lips, spoken so forcefully that for a brief moment all light recedes into the webs of darkness. I have told you before. The void is stronger than ever, but so are you. I can sense the expanse of source inside you. You are ready to learn the spell I've yearned to teach you. The spell you will need when we reach the Well of Ascension. I have given you eyes that see the source. Now I will give you the teeth to take it. Ralik smiles, and you notice for the first time two vampire-like fangs glistening beneath his upper lip. A gulf of magic envelops you, and you feel a sudden, insatiable hunger for source. Go on. I'm here for you. Give in to your hunger. Yes. Relish in your lust for power, just like a god should. Go on. Devour me.
Though your spell tore through him like a spear through flesh, Rallick looks grimly happy, if haggard. You speak the spell with brash ferocity, like I knew you would, my wolf. Oh, do you still not see? Even though you are a god woken, destined to be a god. Let me tell you the one truth about what it means to be a god. It is to be the lion in a world of lambs. It is about power. And power is not given, it is taken. With your all seeing eyes and your all consuming teeth. You can see the souls of the dead. And now you can feed from them to your hungry heart's content. So feed, for you will starve until you finally feast upon the Well of Ascension. So you are. Your soul has become a vast enough expanse to house divinity. You are ready. We must hurry now. We must race toward the Well of Ascension with all the determination of the eagle diving for its prey. Your prey lies on a far off shore at the heart of the Nameless Isle. It is a place no one can reach unless their soul becomes their compass. He places a hand over your heart, and you suddenly feel it, an unmistakable pull in a new and distant direction. The battle for divinity is about to begin in earnest. The other gods and their chosen will try to outflank us, just like we must outflank them. But I will be with you. I will guide you, stand by you. I will watch as you drink from the wellspring, and as its source surges into you. The void will be overcome, and you will be the god of gods. The end is nigh. Don't fail us now. The Nameless Isle awaits you. You jolt back to the world, stumbling forward. Dark smoke surrounds you, hanging in the air like black fog. This feels wrong. The Meister's cry cuts through the haze. You look up just in time to see what steps out of the shadows. Stumbling for the Meister's cry. Glory is 
Your god told you there can be only one. He said you'll eventually need to turn on each other. I've use for neither gods nor men. I myself am the island that is my destination. You, a mere port along the way, I tolerate, for the time being. This problem tore the Seven apart, but perhaps it can bring us together. I say, all for one, and one for, at most, three others. A girl's best friend is her needle, but I'll stick by you as long as you continue to uphold your particular brand of useful. Seems to be the code to a safe. Better hang on to this. Void worker! Damn the whole bloody void worker! <sighs> well, that's that. I always knew I'd die for Rivalon. I just didn't expect it was going to be in a small basement. In Driftwood, of all places. At least now you know where to go. I was dying anyway. The Magister's purging made certain of that. I should probably send the Void a thank you bouquet. Or at least they were efficient about it. No. Today my death is not important. All that matters is that you find Malady and tell her the location of the Council. Just be wary. She is immensely powerful, and she is on our side. But she will not be pleased about, well, my parting. She may ask you to honor an old bargain that I had struck with her. Do not accept. Her business is with me, and me alone. She glances at her body once more, a grim look on her face. You need to go, Godwoken. But I have one last request. My last wish, as it were. I want a statue. Something modest. A simple piece of marble and gold on this steps of the cathedral glaring out over arcs. Meister Siva's shoulders slump, a tired, melancholic grin on her muzzle. Uh, I would have liked to see that city again, just once more. <laughs> Give them hell, Godwoken. Creo, no estoy seguro, pero creo que ya Ark parece que es la última, o sea, la última ciudad. Esto es lo del doctor, bueno, esto es lo de la elfa que da esto a la misma. Acá, bueno, esto. Acá la señora de la casa de la sombra. Ah. Está trazado en la princesa. Prin Ahí, la 
kamu. Bueno, eh, yo creo que eso es en el siguiente mapa probablemente. que estos dos no los puedo terminar todo el resto lo cerré en viajar todo el arte también hacer como que lo dije eso esto todo le parece que todo esto está aquí haciendo me dijo que estaba en la última parte haré un guardado como un fracaso de acá shame I had to leave the stone garden behind I feel so at home among the graves pero por ejemplo daga no, no tiene ninguna daga que sea buena Tagas, no, estas son tagas. Podría ser esta, 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 esta de acá de 40 las otras. Bueno, veamos. Keep distant. You're supposed to be off learning how to become the divine and whatnot. Her eyes flash with something anger, perhaps, or fear. I. But. Never mind. You better focus on the task at hand. She looks straight ahead, ignoring you. Well, aren't you industrious? It seems all the riffraffs back aboard as well. Ready to set sail when you are, your holiness. We can't wait here forever, you know. Hurry up. So? Ready to set sail when you are, your holiness. We can't wait here forever, you know. Hurry up. Red Prince, I am the one who has been hunting you, but you cling to life all too tenaciously. We must speak of the reason for your expulsion from the ancient empire, and we must speak of the Red Princess. Find me on the Nameless Isle at the Temple of Zor Stissa. In the presence of the goddess, let war and shadow meet.
so. Ready to set sail when you are, your holiness. Fantastic. Now, on to the interesting part. After many adventures, the party finally reached the place where Godwo can go to become divine. But more surprises and difficult choices awaited. unimaginative. Still, it's what's on the inside that counts, isn't that right? And this is the place you're meant to become a god. I can't help but wonder exactly what you intend to do with such a power. I have no doubt about that, but do remember, you can do what's good for you, too. All things in balance, you know. You'll want to hurry now. Divinity is waiting, after all. Excellent question. Normally, this place ought only to be known to Godwoken, but judging by the ships burning in the bay, there's been a uh, breach, let's call it. Regardless of who's on the island, all that matters is who ascends. Make sure that's you. The strongest will survive and ascend. I'm hardly an expert on the matter, but I'm smart enough to put two and two together. Where there is an ocean of source, there is a well for drawing from it. To rise to divinity, you probably need to take a gulp. Though I'm sure it won't be that simple. Esto sigue acá, que está bien. Esto también está bien. Todo es lo del doctor que está bien. Eh, y el resto se cerró, ¿no? Esto quedó bien ocupar, que son las líneas que está bien. Esto, bueno, está bien. Así que está todo bien por ahora, ¿verdad? Gareth greets you warmly. He's oddly chipper. More chipper than you've ever seen him. And certainly more chipper than most people mourning dead loved ones. I should thank you. I don't know what came over me. Praise Lucy and I had you to put me on the right track. Not bad. Took some time to think. My parents led good lives. I'd rather celebrate them for the love they gave me than to wail over their loss. Besides, we have work to do. Once we anchor at the Nameless Isle, I'll scout ahead. See if I can help locate the council and ease the way. I'll report to you on what I find. Gareth offers his farewell and hums to himself. Look at that island, Quercus. Covered in forest. A can you smell it? Over the stink of the water, millennia of mulch. Those woods are ancient. We are better to find a clue about the great acorn. Some of those trees could even date back to the first forest. The Knights of Dre will never find us here. A perfect sanctuary to pause and complete our research.
There's no rest for the wicked, Quercus. And even less for those out to save the world, it seems. Somewhere on this ancient isle, there must be a clue that will help us stop the acorn. We must tread carefully. I'm sure such a wonderland will be dangerous, but at least it should be free from the Knights of Dre. What would we do, Quirkus? Why, we'd make them sorry they ever left their mother's nests. Anyway, we have something for your new best friend. The squirrel reaches out and hands you a piece of bark covered in tiny, scratched handwriting. Something I discovered in your lizard friend's basement. She won't miss it, but use it well. How may I help you? And I remember saying I'd probably never tell you. Then again, why not? I suppose some stories were always meant to be told. So, here goes. No, hang on. She retrieves a small flask from her backpack, uncorks it, and takes a big swig. Tears stream from her eyes as she offers you the flask. They're tears of joy, I assure you. Here, have some joy. You drink. It burns. Soon the tears run down your cheeks as well. <laughs> Not bad, is it? So good it has us crying like babies. Now then, the epic of the Master and the Scar. So there was, of course, some singing involved. It began when I woke in the dark room. He removed my blindfold, and still I did not see. He himself was darker than any shadow. But I could hear him. Hear him give orders to another. Stingtail. How he came to regret the actions he performed that day. The master bid the dream a dream, and so he did. He sat there. I could feel his hands upon my cheeks. He trembled, as if in pain. I didn't know what was going on until, quite suddenly, his right hand became a flame. I screamed as he traced the design of the scar into my searing flesh, but I could not move, not an inch. And all the while, the master looked on in darkest silence. Huh. Like I said before, didn't exactly feel like a kiss. So, once the scarring was over, and the pain began to fade, the training began. With words, whistles, snaps of the fingers even, the master could make me obey his every command. Young, strong, smart. You know I don't exactly lack in qualities. It didn't take him long to train me in the arts of stealth, subterfuge, and assassination. It shakes me little now, all too little. But that first time, that first real kill? It was such stuff as nightmares are made on. I had now lived in the dark for what might as well have been years. I was in a wood, but the trees there were sick. Grey, leafless hydras sticking out of ash and earth. There were no stars that night. She sat shivering beside a fire. I was nervous, 
I, I had to chase her. My hand hated itself, tried to resist, but there is no resisting the master's song. My stabs weren't as mercifully exact as they should have been. I had to bring down the needle again and again as her screams flooded the forest with terror. When it was done, I crawled back to the master, broken, crept back into the box, and through its cold black lid, he told me I had done well. <laughs> you understand me completely. With the needle, I'll kill him, and with the needle, I'll strike his name from my skin. The bastard will be master no longer. The very best. She cocks her head ever so slightly and eyes you as innocently as a kitten. Why? Don't tell me you disagree. Thank you. I quite agree, and I'm sure I'll have mercy on you when I'm a goddess. You, but a mortal at my feet. In all seriousness, though, the prospect both tickles and terrifies me. I mean, divinity. Will it be a blessing or a burden? Would we be truly omnipotent or merely the servants of an unruly universe, as desperate for control as we are now? And then there's the question that makes me shiver most of all. Would we still be ourselves? Would I remain Sibyl, or would my mortal soul die upon gaining divine immortality? Take the plunge and don't look back, huh? As good a plan as any, I presume. She sighs and closes her eyes, then smiles her easy smile. Such a silly game we play, to be a god. It's quite wasted on mortals, if you ask me. We are all of us too blemished to become immaculate. Yes. It's most intriguing. A message from the House of Shadows. The ones who so fruitlessly sent assassins after my good self. Well, first, I will hear the man out. If he can lead me to sad her, well, I can spare my ears a moment or two for that. Besides, only polite, I always say, to hear a man out before beheading him. What house? Ha! Ah, a peculiar query. But very well, I'm no stranger to parlor games. Let's see. From what I gather, you've a certain illicit quality about you. You're the kind that doesn't shy away from violence, but in fact welcomes it. There can be no doubt that would place you in... What else but the House of Shadows? Don't get your hopes up. We don't adopt. There's no time to waste. Sabeel slides her hand in yours. Makes your heart skip a beat with her particularly coquettish smile. I've something I need to tell you. She scrapes her throat, hesitates, almost as if she's a bit nervous. There's a first. I'm... I'm afraid you're going to accuse me of killing the mood, but... The thing is, I need to talk to you about the Master. No, not anymore. Or so I hope. My dear, sweet Ifan, I've grown to trust you. More than I've trusted anyone since... Since I've had names on my skin. So you have. Come, sit down with me for a moment. You both sit down, cross-legged, knees to knees, hand in hand. Suddenly, a melody. Sibyl sings a song, haunting in its simplicity. She uses no words, sounds rather. It's beautiful, yet somehow menacing. This is my scar song. It's all the master needs to make me his slave once more, unless... Your voice opposes his. I will soon confront him, with you by my side. 
My life and my liberty I place in these soft, strong hands of yours. Will you sing? Good answer. Her cat's eyes close as she leans in for a kiss. You kiss. It's sweet and wonderful. You wish it could last forever. My word. You both get up and smile to one another warmly. When you hear a sound in the distance and turn to look, Sabeel pats you affectionately on the bottom. Adventure calls, but... I say we do this again sometime. No one ever regretted having extra help in a fight. I'll guarantee you that. Go ahead. Well, this all looks... I've plenty of fighters for hire. Experts in... Oh, I... Hello. This island is something else, huh? I'll bet I can find many interesting ingredients here. Of course. Told you I would, didn't I? Sure thing. Those Magister ships burning. This is as close as I'm going to that island. Nothing good will come of it. Tread carefully, my dear. Those are black ring banners that I spy on the shore. I studied the tablet that you so generously provided. It showed me everything I need to know about creating a functional Swornbreaker. Once I have that, I'll be free of the Covenant. And see those structures further inland? Remarkably like those from the caverns of the Black Pits, aren't they? Should you discover the parts needed for a Swornbreaker, please bring them to me. I'll make it worth your while. Also, you will likely encounter sworn followers of the God King on that island, I suspect. I would avoid combat if possible. Death can be less than final for them, if the God King wills it. Almira doesn't respond right away. Instead, she turns and gazes intently at the island. After a I sense a familiar presence. The Sallow Man. Yes. He's there somewhere. Likely commanding Black Ring forces. You should seek him out. He's a foul creature, but not opposed to cutting a deal. Beware his underlings, though. If they challenge your presence, pose as a thrall of mine and you should gain safe passage. My name should still command respect among them.
Quite a journey I've found myself on with you. Is this where it ends, I wonder? Why, my dear Ifan, you already have the finest safeguard possible for traversing this place. A mercenary's reputation. Warriors for hire, all seasoned in combat. They won't let you down. If there's fighting on that island, I'm sure that my former comrades will be making use of the lone wolves to help their cause. Remember your lupine motto, Glechu Duma. That may be just the thing to keep you safe. I wish I could offer you more in return for finding Anathema, but alas. <sighs> Pursuit of my interests has led me to fall in with some disreputable company in my time. For a short while, one such group was the Black Ring. I know, I know, not something to be proud of, but they let me do as I wished, so desperate they were for aid after the death fog cut them down to size. A fine arrangement, until they started preaching about this god king and his infernal covenant. He snorts derisively. The last thing this world needs is another would-be god, and an army of fools willing to follow him. It's a sop to all the fools who think that someone will grant them power and immortality in return for loyalty. This God King has caused to make war with the Seven, and the Covenant is how he's gathered his army. They become sworn, as it was put to me, bound to serve, die, and be reborn for the God King for as long as he wishes. Then, at some ill-defined point in the future, they think you should have seen them all. On their knees, worshipping a new tyrant just to spite seven old ones. I got away from them while I still could. Unfortunately, Dallas was waiting to snatch me. There's a clue in the name. He's a god, or something that wants to be a god. Continue to march to the Seven's Beat, and I'm sure you'll find out exactly what he is. They're all the same, you know. Tyrants, liars, carrion birds. The best thing would be for them all to destroy each other and leave the rest of us to live in peace. Fighters, mages, archers, all willing to fight by your side 